BrainWise presents Grade 6, Science Quiz B, Part 3 Hello, brilliant minds! It's time to test your science smarts! 20 questions stand between you and science glory! Are you ready to take on the challenge? Number 1 What is the main function of the nucleus in a cell? Again what is the main function of the nucleus in a cell? The choices are A. To produce energy B. To store food C. To control cell activities D. To transport materials The correct answer is C. To control cell activities Number 2. Which of the following is not a characteristic of metals? Again, which of the following is not a characteristic of metals? The choices are A. Shiny B. Malleable C. Good conductor of heat D. Brittle The correct answer is D. Brittle Number 3. What is the pH of a neutral solution? Again, what is the pH of a neutral solution? The choices are A. 0 B. 7 C. 14 D. 100 The correct answer is B. 7 Number 4 Which force is responsible for keeping objects on Earth's surface? Again, which force is responsible for keeping objects on Earth's surface? The choices are A. Gravity B. Friction C. Magnetism D. Tension The correct answer is A. Gravity Number 5. What is the difference between speed and velocity? Again, what is the difference between speed and velocity? The choices are A. Speed has direction, while velocity does not B. Velocity has direction, while speed does not C. Speed is measured in meters per second squared, while velocity is measured in meters per second D. They are the same thing. The correct answer is B. Velocity has direction, while speed does not. Number 6. Which animal group has a backbone? Again, which animal group has a backbone? The choices are A. Invertebrates B. Vertebrates C. Insects D. Worms The correct answer is B. Vertebrates Fantastic job so far! You're showing your science skills! Take a quick moment to refresh, and let's jump back into the quiz! Number 7. What is the name of the force that opposes motion? Again, what is the name of the force that opposes motion? The choices are A. Gravity B. Friction C. Magnetism D. Tension The correct answer is B. Friction Number 8 What is the function of the circulatory system in animals? Again, what is the function of the circulatory system in animals? The choices are A. To digest food B. To exchange gases C. To transport materials D. To control movement
The correct answer is C. To transport materials. Number 9. Which of the following is a characteristic of acids? Again, which of the following is a characteristic of acids? The choices are A. Bitter taste B. Slippery feel C. Sour taste D. Turns red litmus paper blue The correct answer is C. Sour taste Number 10 Which of the following is an example of an adaptation? Again which of the following is an example of an adaptation? The choices are A. A disease B. A broken bone C. Camouflage D. A scar The correct answer is C. Camouflage Number 11 what is the standard unit for measuring mass? Again, what is the standard unit for measuring mass? The choices are A. Meter B. Liter C. Gram D. Second The correct answer is C. Gram Number 12. What is the function of the nervous system in animals? Again, what is the function of the nervous system in animals? The choices are A. To digest food B. To exchange gases C. To transport materials D. To control movement and senses The correct answer is D. To control movement and senses. Number 13. Which of the following is an example of a mixture? Again, which of the following is an example of a mixture? The choices are A. Water B. Salt C. Sugar D. Air The correct answer is D. Air. Number 14. What is the name of the process by which a solid changes directly into a gas? Again, what is the name of the process by which a solid changes directly into a gas? The choices are A. Melting B. Freezing C. Sublimation D. Condensation The correct answer is C. Sublimation. You're a science champion in the making. Keep your eyes on the prize and answer the remaining questions with confidence. Number 15. What is the role of decomposers in an ecosystem? Again, what is the role of decomposers in an ecosystem? The choices are A. They produce their own food through photosynthesis. B. They break down dead organisms and waste products, returning nutrients to the soil. C. They consume other organisms for energy. D. They control the populations of predators. The correct answer is B. They break down dead organisms and waste products, returning nutrients to the soil. Number 16. Why does a compass needle point north? Again, why does a compass needle point north? The choices are A. It is attracted to the North Star. B. It aligns with the Earth's magnetic field. C. It is influenced by the gravitational pull of the Moon. D. It is affected by the Earth's rotation.
The correct answer is B. It aligns with the Earth's magnetic field. Number 17. What is the role of chlorophyll in photosynthesis? Again, what is the role of chlorophyll in photosynthesis? The choices are A. It absorbs sunlight B. It releases oxygen C. It converts carbon dioxide into glucose D. It transports water The correct answer is A. It absorbs sunlight Number 18 What is the difference between an element and a compound? Again, what is the difference between an element and a compound? The choices are A. An element is made up of two or more different types of atoms, while a compound is made up of only one type of atom. B. A compound is made up of two or more different types of atoms, while an element is made up of only one type of atom. C. An element is a liquid, while a compound is a solid. D. An element is a solid, while a compound is a gas. The correct answer is B. A compound is made up of two or more different types of atoms, while an element is made up of only one type of atom. Number 19. What is the difference between weather and climate? Again, what is the difference between weather and climate? The choices are A. Weather is the long-term average of atmospheric conditions, while climate is the short-term state of the atmosphere. B. Climate is the long-term average of atmospheric conditions, while weather is the short-term state of the atmosphere. C. Weather is measured in degrees Celsius, while climate is measured in millimeters. D. Weather and climate are the same thing. The correct answer is B. Climate is the long-term average of atmospheric conditions, while weather is the short-term state of the atmosphere. Number 20. How does the moon affect the tides on Earth? Again, how does the moon affect the tides on Earth? The choices are A. The moon's gravitational pull creates bulges of water on the side of the Earth facing the moon and on the opposite side. B. The moon's light reflects off the ocean surface, causing the tides. C. The moon's temperature affects the temperature of the ocean water, causing the tides. D. The moon has no effect on the tides. The correct answer is A. The moon's gravitational pull creates bulges of water on the side of the Earth facing the moon and on the opposite side. You've shown your amazing science skills! Remember, learning is a never-ending adventure! Enjoyed the quiz? Give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, and hit that subscribe button! See you next time! You rock this quiz! Post your score and see who can beat it! Check out other videos from BrainWise!